Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. Today we're going to look at the Old Testament book of Isaiah, chapter 58. And Isaiah is giving God's message to the Israelites, and he's specifically confronting phony worship. People going through the motions, but not living it out. Not worshiping God with their heart and with their lives. They may be kind of putting on a nice facade and doing the things that are kind of expected of them, but they're not truly worshiping God with all that they are, with their entire heart and lives as they live out and interact with others. But he gives hope. He says, as we choose to worship God with all of our being and, and honor God in all that we do, our life demonstrating our worship of God by the way we interact and conduct our business and do everything with other people. And then we come to God with that right heart. He says in Isaiah 58 verse 8, he says, then your salvation will come like the dawn and your wounds will quickly heal. Your godliness will lead you forward and the glory of the Lord will protect you from behind. There is a natural result of our heart response towards God. When we come to God truly worshiping him with humility and a willingness to follow him as not just our savior, but as the Lord, as the boss, the one calling the shots that he is leading and we are following in obedience. When we're living that life completely devoted to following him, then we're going to experience the natural benefits of that. We're going to be closer to God. We're going to receive more of his presence. We're going to see receive the natural results of his healing and life flowing through us. We'll experience this salvation, wounds, healing, godliness leading us forward. The glory of the Lord will fill our life and protect us from the negativity and all the other things because God is filling us up and his light makes the darkness have no chance in comparison. So the question for us is, am I following and, and honoring God with all that I am, my heart, my mind, my soul, my actions, my life? Does it represent that he is the number one spot in my life? Because that's when we will experience the fullness of his presence and the blessings of a God who we worship and we receive the blessings from as well. Let's pray. God, I thank you for your love, and I thank you that as we come to you with our whole hearts and our whole lives, imperfect, yes, but with that attitude that I want to honor you and to let my life exhibiting to everyone else that you are number one in my life, then we're going to naturally experience all the joys and the benefits that come from being in that right relationship with you. God, thank you that you meet us right where we are, and that as we open ourselves up, you're the one who can help to transform those parts of our life that need to be renewed. But it is in that attitude and with that at coming to you with that kind of intentionality that allows you to give us all the blessings of what it means to truly be in your presence and to experience the fullness of that right relationship with you. We thank you and we praise you for a God who cares about us and welcomes us in this way. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, let me read Isaiah 58, verse 8. If we get our life correct with God and come to him with the right attitude, then your salvation will come like the dawn and your wounds will quickly heal. Your godliness will lead you forward and the glory of the Lord will protect you from behind. That's where I want to be. That's the situation and the positioning that I want to be in the center of God's presence because I am trusting and following him with all that I am. God bless you as you do the same. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.